Hi, this is Mark with AFT Construction and we are here at Project Worth the Wait and today we're going to take a look at some insulation process. Okay, so here we are uh, in one of the bedrooms. Um, this is a two by six wall. This is sprayed with open cell foam. Uh, you can see this has been sprayed but has not yet been shaved off. Um, the guys will come back and they will cut back up to the studs. So the drywall will sit flat and as you can see, They've only gone certain height so far. Uh, that's because you can only reach so far with the sprayer. And they will bring their scaffolding in and finish the rest up to the ceiling. They'll spray the under roof um, once they get the scaffolding here in place. So as they spray their foam in here, um, it, obviously it expands at a pretty rapid pace and this will eventually get shaved down. Um, here is the stud right here. So they will come in and shave a lot of this down to where it's gonna be flat against the stud. On this wall, we do have open cell foam. There is two different types. One is open cell, one is closed cell. And the difference between the both is the small bubbles that make up the foam. Um, obviously, the open cell foam has bigger bubbles and the closed cell has the smaller bubbles. So depending on what R value you're going for, <clears throat> This open cell foam right here, this and a two by six wall will probably give us between a R19 and a R21 value. This is pretty good for a wall. That is an exterior wall. So that's gonna reduce any airflow or any resistance to heat, cold from the exterior. So here we are in a different room here. They've already shaved back the foam on these. Uh, you can see they've flushed it out to the studs. That way the drywall can be installed right over the top of this and there's no issues, no bumps in the drywall. So here on this wall, you can see um, there is some cardboard shims on this wall. Um, that is a, a what we call a uh, plumb and straight edge. The framers come back in, um, they straight edge the wall. Any imperfections, any studs that will stick out, they will plane down any studs that are bowed inwards they add the cardboard shims. This gives a nice flat surface for the drywall to sit and that way the drywall does not have any uh, lumps, bumps or divots or installs nice and flat. So here we are in, a, in an upstairs bathroom here. We're gonna use a different type of insulation on the bathroom walls. Um, this will be bat insulation. It's, it's gonna be like a fiberglass and that's just for soundproofing the walls and the bathrooms. So here we're looking at on the underside of the roof in the upper part of the house. You can see they install these little cardboard rules. Um, it shows that they've got 10 inches of foam on the underside of the roof, which is what uh, it is called for on plans. Um, and they put those rulers in there uh, just so that we can see that they've sprayed, you know, the 10, the full 10 inches. And also that is for the inspector to see that they had put the correct amount of foam in there. About the, the 10 inches of foam on the ceiling, that is not all sprayed in one pass. They have to do two passes. They'll do a, a five inches of foam, they'll let that dry, and then they'll go back and do another five inches on top of that. They can't do 10 all at once because then it will create a, a moisture spot in the middle and that will just never dry out and that would cause issues. This is Mark with AFT Construction and thanks for checking us out on this day of spray foam insulation. Uh, stay tuned for more content.